My name is Ian Pelham Turner, and uh, I'm a former royal photographer, now royal correspondent, and I've worked with five generations of the royal family in Britain. So I first started 50 years ago, when I was 16 years old. Uh, and uh, one of my first assignments with the royal family, I was commissioned to take some photographs uh, of Princess Margaret, the sister of the Queen. Photographers have to be the conductors of an orchestra. And so uh, when, when you're working even with the royal family, and I've worked with five generations, whenever you're working with anybody at all, you, you have to be um, in command of the situation at the same time. So, uh, you know, if, if you in any way give any nervous uh, actions towards them, um, they become nervous themselves. So you always have to have a, this air of confidence about, uh, you know, how things can happen. That's one of these in years. It is. I mean, at times you, you have to take risks you know, in photography. Um, that's what really good photographers do. You know, you have to sort of know, but you have to have that passion uh, as well to actually enjoy what you do. Uh, I've been tremendously lucky in my life. I've enjoyed every single day of my life. It took me a second to remember how to load it now. It's been a long time. I took Prince William's first Christmas baby photographs. Uh, in 1982. So in those days uh, there was a set protocol and the set protocol was unlike today where photographers are given a long time, probably half a day to work with the royal family, the young royal family. Yeah. In those days I was given seven minutes to take the most iconic photographs in the world and uh, the protocol was that they were coming to the room, they would sit down I wasn't allowed to talk to them unless they asked me a question. So we started taking the photographs and Diana had decided that she would bring William's teething ring. What she hadn't realised was that as the way she was holding the teething ring, it was hiding her face completely. Now I wasn't allowed to say to her, Mom, you're hiding your face, I can't see you. You know, and obviously she, at that time she was the most important woman in the world. And in the end I thought, there's only one thing I can do, so I made a noise like I was dying. And she turned round towards me and she realised what she was doing and she was smiling. Diane had a tremendous sense of humour and she realised I was breaking royal protocol and the only way I could without uh, going through the full essence of it. And so she pulled the teething ring away. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden, William went to grab the teething ring and in one sixtieth of a second, then I got one of the most iconic raw photographs of all time. This is one of my other favorite shots. I just love this shot of Harry. He was passing uh, a whole group of people who do not like the royal family. And just before this shot, he was smiling, he was waving, you know, he was doing all the royal usual duties. And then he came to this crowd and they were all booing him and shouting at him. And look at the f expression on his face. I, th I think, you know, the reality is, is it teaches you a lot about how to work with very, very important people. I've been very lucky in my career. You know, I've worked with presidents and prime ministers. I've worked with the royal family. I've worked with major Hollywood stars. And so, uh, you know, I really feel blessed. It's a great honor to sort of work with all these people. Uh, every day I feel honored. I feel blessed. I feel honoured to work with you today, I really do. 
I, I just felt in, in the end, um, you know, I'm 66 now, it's only fair that um, other photographers, young photographers, get the same opportunity as I did. You know, I was in my early 30s uh, when I did Williams photographs, for example, and it gave me that extra platform, that extra springboard. And so, you know, I want to see young photographers as well. I'm very passionate to support young photographers at the same time and give them the same type of opportunities that I had because you are the future.